Hi, my name is Chanel. My project is the Wellness Center Guyana, and I am the current winner of U Time International's Movement Business Idea Grant that I won in Paris in 2018. The Wellness Center Guyana is an organization that's centered around raising awareness and providing support for persons dealing with mental health illnesses. So the whole idea is to affect the numbers in Guyana, which are way too high. Our population is less than 1 million and we have about 200,000 persons that suffer from mental health illnesses. And um, for about three years, until 2017, our suicide rate was the highest in the world for GDP, uh, with GDP per capita that is. And um, there was no organization in Guyana that was dealing primarily with mental health, which I think was a bit ridiculous in my view, because if it is that you have such a, <laughs> such a problem, then create a solution. So I decided off of my own that I wanted to create something to truly impact the lives of my people because I, like them, also suffer or suffered from depression for too long and there was nowhere for me to turn. So why not create an organization where I can get to help persons as well as help myself in the process. Paris was quite a, a shocker for me because there were so many good projects and I was the last person to present so when I'm sitting there looking at everybody presenting and I'm thinking oh, maybe I might not win it this year but then I could try again because I really wanted to do it but when, when Julia said my name I was very shocked. I suppose that this particular project fetched a lot of hearts. Chanel. So U-Time has been the reason or the um, yeah, the reason that I was able to start this organization. Without them it was not possible. So they would have been able to provide me with the funding. I got um, 6,000 euros, which is 70% of my total budget. And so far it has been a good relationship. We have been working together, um, reporting on a regular basis. And Antoine has been very helpful. <laughs> Um, thus far along with the process but um, and having you here of course it's, it's an nice thing on the cake so you can get to see what I'm actually doing. I'm a teacher slash social worker and I think that gaining some knowledge on mental illness would be a plus to me because as a social worker these are some of the things that we have to deal with on a daily basis. So this will be of great knowledge, it will add to my repertoire of knowledge. Mental health is always my passion because I'm a trained psychiatric nurse and I worked for a number of years at the psychiatric hospital so I see mental health from a different spectrum com coming and how persons recover and that's why I, I, I said in the workshop that medication is the last option because we need holistic approaches as it relates to mental health in, involving family members, community, community organizations and then if that don't help then you apply medications. One of my friends who actually won the grant uh, the year before me, Aurelia, she always told me that whenever I'm picking my team, make sure that you pick persons you can depend on and that you can, it's almost like you're picking yourself. Chanel now, she's helping us to realize and know more about it and know more about health, mental health. It opened a wider perspective for me to understand it more. To understand that not because somebody's walking on the road that they, they should be locked up or somebody that is 
that is um, home acting out a certain way that they're crazy or whatever. Sometimes it's diff different issues or things that they're dealing with or things that they're fighting with inside. Mental health issues, um, it's something that's been plaguing society and for a while and we don't have the services, you know, we don't put the effort to recognizing um, these illnesses. So when I heard about the organization and I was called upon to participate, I opted for the opportunity so I can go there and make the difference, you know, with families. Because you change one life, you change the entire family. One young lady that messaged me around about a month or just there about ago and um, she was suicidal at the moment and I literally took my entire lunch break talking to her. Why? Because I felt her. She had lost her son and she fell into a deep depression whereby she was not even leaving her house. She isolated herself from her family, from work, from everything around her and when she spoke of the fact that her weight right now was less than what her son was at and her son died really young. He was a child when he died. So and she said her weight had come down to less than that. I'm thinking, you really and truly need the help, but she didn't want to come out, but she really likes talking to me, so I'm actually still talking to her. Even up to about Friday, I believe, I would have spoken to her, because I like to check in to, with her from every time to time, but she has come a far away, because she made her first step, and last week she actually went and had her first counseling session. So it's really good to see that she warmed up and actually came out to it. It happened like two years ago that my, um my cousin, who's also my best friend, um, suffered like a major mental breakdown and that broke my heart when I saw the way that she was going through. I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't know what to tell her. Like, I didn't know how to comfort her. And at that point, I realized that this is like serious, this is really serious, and I need to put some focus and learn like how to help people with mental issues. To me, I realized like this was the first organization to focus more on mental health. So I reached out to them and they, um, I, I followed them and I saw they had like the registration sheet for the mental health workshop. So immediately I signed up because I saw there was limited seats. So I tried to get. So I really want to continue pushing the training aspect now as well as doing the alternative therapy because persons in Guyana, they have never experienced the alternative therapy like the music therapy that we had and we're going to have our therapy soon. So they are really enjoying it. So I'm going to do a lot more activities like that to get them to find the balance of well-being per se. And apart from that, after the year is up, I really and truly hope and I've started my little fundraising on the side so that we can get to continue the organization. Because I don't want to just leave it after a year, it's needed and I will do everything that I can to continue the work.